The key thing is, what are you doing about your hybrid state? And is this a state in which you're actually taking advantage of the resources in all of the connected points that are there? Um, and everybody is hybrid today. I've yet to run into a company who is 100% in one cloud um, and has no resources or assets anywhere else. Um, if you're there, contact me, love to hear your story. Um, but given that I'm assuming that you're not, um, you have to be asking yourself, am I making sure that these connections are high performance? Am I making sure these connections are bringing data into a point where I can aggregate and get information out of the data from all these places? Am I doing it securely? Those are the things you really have to be asking yourself. And am I actually using the be getting the most optimization out of all the things I've connected? Um, and if not, maybe I should change my hybrid picture a little bit. We have to realize that there are certain cases in which you will want data to reside in certain places, probably long term. Mm -hmm. Like when we think about manufacturers, they never really want that factory to not have the ability to work with the internet connection being down. So they're always going to have some assets and some, some data that's on premise in there. Yep. When we think about the IoT scenario, like you brought up with the connected car, um, there's going to be data in that car. You know, you're not going to say, oh, the cloud is so more efficient, we'll just put everything there and the car's dumb. No, that's not going to be realistic. Yeah, exactly. And that's it. That is our world, and increasingly with uh, devices and sensors all emitting data, um, heck for that matter, uh, light bulbs have sensors and little you know, yeah. amount of storage in them as well, right? So data is going to be everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's inherently uh, hybrid. Yeah, and this is a big reason why Microsoft is so committed to hybrid and why it's one of our top priorities for our customers. And they also want to make the migration to cloud at their pace. Mm -hmm. So we want to continue to offer the assets on premise and the capabilities that they're looking for, but increasingly integrate them with the cloud so they can move them over. And that's a big reason why HDI is a great solution as well. Do you want to do it on premise? Great. Do you want to do it in the cloud? Great. We aren't taking any of those away. We're giving you the choice. Right, you get the tools, you get a familiar um, experience in how how you use those tools, uh, and then now it's really up to the organization to figure out how they sort of map out that journey. Exactly.